Hey, we're here this week in Arizona doing Hack a Week. Welcome to Hack a Week. <laughs> So we're here today with John Shook from uh, Hackers Bench. Uh, Hackers Bench TV is it, or just Hackers Bench on? Hackersbench.com is the website. Okay. And okay. Hackers Bench all by itself is the YouTube channel. So, so. he has a YouTube channel. Uh, got There's a few videos on, on there at this point. But, but stuff's coming up, right? Oh, so big stuff's coming up. Got all kinds of things coming up. So we're here in his workshop. Um, why don't you just give us a little quickie tour of what's going on here with the workbench? Um. This is an oscilloscope. Oh. <laughs> I am a big fan of vintage old gear. I like it much better than the new stuff with Me LCD too. screens and stuff. Couple of scopes, big power supply. Nice. Um, frequency counters, voltage meters. Um, all of this stuff these days, you could probably get in an instrument this big that'll plug into a USB yeah. jack, and it's absolutely not fun at all. That's no fun, though, exactly. Um, and this will heat your shop in the wintertime. That's time. true. It's warm all winter in here. <laughs> A um, bunch of other more specialized test gear that'll make appearances in videos now and then. And what's going on with this down here? Uh, uh, old Hammond organ, wow. M100. That's cool. It, it actually works, except it needs a new power cord. Uh -huh. A couple of synthesizers that I need to fix. Um, a little audio video editing thing going on over there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of in the middle of uh, a full redesign of the shop. and. Then we're gonna get busy and build projects and cool. make videos. I noticed you got a couple things kind of lingering here in the bench. What's uh, what was on the breadboard here? This last thing you were working on. <laughs> this breadboard, man, I can't. This is a number of different projects all happening at the same time. This ah. I'm down here was, I was probably helping Addy on how you drive a relay with a transistor because oh, that's okay. all that's here is a relay and a transistor. There's some power supply there. This is the Tautic uh, electronics rotation sensor, which is probably the last thing this was set up to do. You see the, is that the open source hardware logo on there? Yeah. little gear thing, yeah. Yep. I, I don't know if Jason's going to start selling his sensors and stuff again. I hope so. Hmm. Um, that chip back there was a uh, LED display driver. Ah, okay. So basically this was set up to evaluate that sensor board. <laughs> and Essentially, what you do is you'd put a magnet over it, and you'd rotate this magnet, and this would read out in degrees exactly where oh. the magnet was. Okay. This display chip, I loved it because it did six digits plus 16 push buttons. Oh, neat. So that chip did all the matrixing wow. to accommodate all these. And so I did it. I had a board made. I got everything. And then I got the email that said, yeah, we're not going to make that chip anymore. Great. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can get screwed every now and then. That this sucks. has got another Tautic board Yeah, I saw it. it. Another Tautic dot That's a little uh, PIC development board. Um, this was, this is an, a project that actually you're going to see on the channel. But it, oh, cool. it basically fixes a problem with a Christmas chime display. We'll just leave that okay. well enough for that. Um, this is my new multimeter that is uh, what I spent the prize from the Hackaday. Oh, uh, yeah. Awesome. The Hackaday contest prize when he was on that. They're nice. But, you know, but that's and a just, nice analog one. That's, I was just going to point out that if you can, you want both of those. Exactly, because there's <laughs> times when the analog one will tell you things that you can't you, see on a digital you can, readout. You can see trends yes, and exactly. movements that you will never, ever, ever see. Now, I've got an older one that's got a little bar graph at the bottom. It's better than nothing. I have one of those, too. But it only reacts so fast. And it's, it's still not, not as really fast as that needle no, uh, when you're needle looking at really signal. nice. I've got a little old Radio Shack one kicking around somewhere. I pull out once in a while. Yep. So well, that's, that's cool. basically it. So there you have it. Um, look forward to seeing videos from you coming look. up pretty soon. How long? A few months? No, not a few. A few weeks. Two weeks. Couple Excellent. Weeks. Weeks. That's great. It'll be up. Yeah. Okay, so I'll be back uh, in my shop next week doing some more stuff probably on the CB750 so you motorcycle people can get your uh, jolly from that. And, uh, well, till next time.
Uh, as I usually say, till next time. <laughs> do that again. <laughs> we'll just outro it again. There's the blooper. What is it? What? <laughs> till next time. Till and next I, time. And then it says keep on hacking at the end. So, so what am I supposed to say? All you to have say? to do is say till next time. Till next time.